I'm Kim Brown with IMTS TV, and I'm here in the FANUC booth with Kurt Christensen, the CNC Aftermarket Support Manager. And Kurt, tell us what you have in the FANUC booth today. We got a lot of good stuff here today. We've got our robots, we've got our machine tool controls. We have featuring today our field system, which is our connectivity system that shows data collection and connectivity and analytics across all the FANUC product lines and across product lines that are not necessarily FANUC, some of even our competitors' lines. And why is that important to a customer? Very few customers are FANUC only customers. Very few customers are any one brand. We need to be able to have cross connectivity and data collection no matter where we go. In this show, we have 301 machines connected from 144 customers. And six partner companies have specially developed applications for doing special monitoring of their own products. Why is connectivity important? Well, when you look at data collection, being able to connect to other products, being able to read the information from their products that are non-FANIC standard is important. We use global application things like OPC UA to do that or MT Connect and other manufacturers connectivity software. Why would field be so important? Well field is actually something new that we've never done before. This product will be launched in January of this coming year. It allows us to connect across multiple things but then to begin to do full true analytic analysis of what's going on within the product. We currently do that with our own robot products through our ZDT program, where we can actually monitor and predict failures before they occur. In this case, we've taken our software and our application and gone to the people that know the product the best, the manufacturers, and said, you tell us what your product does well and where do we need to look for problems and give us the ability to monitor that and we can tell you when it's going to fail. That allows us to share that information across the entire industry with everyone involved in the industry. Is there anything else like that on the market right now? Not that I'm aware of. That's very cool. Well, what else do you have here for us? We've got our collaborative robots, of course, which are robots that are used in applications where mechanical operation may require someone to help, but it's too complicated to do by robot alone. So we incorporate people and robots together. We have our heavy lifter, of course, in the back, showing off our lifting of our bolt. Uh, please come back and see it. It's a great show. What else do you have here in the FANUC booth? Well, we've got a wide variety of everything from robots to our Robo Nano UI, which is our 1.1 nanometer accuracy. We have injection molding, robo drills, and of course, our collaborative robots. And collaborative robotics, as most people know, are robots that are used in tasks that require human intervention as well. So we can work close together, and safety is good. Remember, green is good. Green is safe. You can touch it. And the green robot line has been expanded from smaller robots to even larger robots as well. With Internet of Things being so important, how is FANUP working with it? With our field systems and our other data collection pieces of software, including our simple things like MT Connect, or MT Connect, MT Link I, we even have products that allow you to bridge across older products that don't have Ethernet capability so that we can bridge that gap between old and new and move our industry into Industry 4.0 where we can begin to do true analytics, true predictive, true maintenance management where we understand failures before they occur. All of these things are coming into the realm today, and now we're adding smart products into the mix. Be sure to see all of these products and more at the FANUC booth, booth number 338919, or you can visit them online at fanicamerica.com. I'm Kim Brown with IMTS-TV. Thank you for watching.